guys and welcome to today's vlog. I've not vlogged in so long. I'm so sorry guys. I've really just abandoned YouTube for a little while, but this is my first video of 2021, which is exciting. So basically a little life update, I suppose, is that we've been super busy at work. Um, one of the other interns left, so we were just in a one and two rota, which means I was on call every second night and every second weekend, which meant it was quite busy. <laughs> So now a new intern has started, so we're back to one in three, which is really nice. Um, yeah, what else has happened? Had a really good New Year's, um, spent it, had a like, little uh, get together because in Victoria we are allowed up to 15 people to uh, meet. So we were able to do a little bit of something, um, a little bit quiet. And yeah, for Christmas I was on call, but um, got to have a nice Christmas dinner. And yeah, it was really, really nice. So, that's kind of what I've been up to, just being busy and not really had a huge amount of time to ride Diva, unfortunately. Um, I've been slacking a little bit, but I'm hoping to get back on it um, now soon. The, the other thing is that I have a good few things planned. Um, like next weekend, I'm going to Melbourne for the weekend and then we have some other bits and bobs to do. So weekends like that, I obviously won't be able to ride the horse. So. Yeah, it's just a little bit busy. I'm trying to make the most of my time here because it's getting very, very close to me leaving Australia and heading home to Ireland. I finish work on the 26th of February. Um, so it's like just over a month away. Um, I will be traveling a little bit um, before I head home to Ireland, but yeah, it's creeping closer. But guys, I cannot wait to ride my horses again. I miss the boys so much. Um, I've just spent today watching old videos of me show jumping Cal because I am obsessed with him <laughs> and I'm so excited to go home and ride him again so yeah I expect loads of videos when I get home and I'll be clipping him and getting him fish and yeah everything like that I'm so excited um, but back to the present I have Diva to ride and keep me occupied and keep me entertained so yeah I'm gonna do a bit of a grid with Diva I think a few bounces and maybe an ox are out um, something like that. She's feeling very fresh because she hasn't been um, jumped really at all over Christmas and New Year's. So I jumped her last weekend and she was very excited. <laughs> so I might try and work on chilling her out a little bit and getting her back to where we were before her little break. Um, so yeah, gonna head, head um, over to the yard now. See you when I get there. Alrighty, so I set up my grid. I have two bounces in. Um, unfortunately, we only have four wings. So that's as many. That's as many bounces as I can do. So I have two bounces, three counter pulls, which are like bounces, but obviously just pulls, and then a little vertical with a landing pull afterwards to help um, make her make more of a up and down shape as opposed to counter or jumping across the fence. So that is what we have planned. And that'll eventually go up and I'll make it an oxer and stuff like that. So yeah, I'll go and get her in now. Here's Diva. Diva has gotten a little bit pudgy on her Christmas break. You and me both, gal. She now has this ad lib hay, so she's been loving that. Lots of people have been commenting about why we put rugs on the horses in the summer. And it actually keeps them cool. Look, it's this cool coat. It's like if you have a light t-shirt on, like I have this light t-shirt on, it keeps me cooler than if all my skin was exposed. And it also stops their coat getting bleached and sunburnt. So yeah, that's why we keep the, it's like a light uh, rug on them, even though it's quite hot. Hey girl, you can really do some jumping. Yay! <laughs> You're such a good girl. Oh, Diva, you've gotten so pudgy. <laughs> Look at that big belly. Yes. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not shaming you, I promise. I'm not. I'm not.
So after I've warmed up, I start popping down the grid. Um, she's pretty good over the bounces every time, which I was quite pleased about. She was somewhat in a good rhythm, but was definitely fighting my contact down the distance. But I was happy that she didn't take off or go galloping or anything like that. Um, so then I come around again, it's slightly bigger. She is slightly stronger again, fighting me a little bit more. Um, I'm trying to sit up and stay really um, really steady in the contact and really strong in my position. So this time she just really, really just pulls the second I land. So I just ask her to hold um, and just give her a pat and let her relax. So then I come around again and she was actually a lot better this time after I halted the previous time. She started thinking a little bit slower and didn't race down the distance so much. Then we made it a little oxer. Once the oxer came out, she really um, started speeding up and I was doing a lot to try and hold her back. Um, as I said, she was quite fresh um, and she really does love jumping. So I come down the distance again. I'm having to really hold her to make the distance um, and to get her to canter correctly over the poles. She really just wants to gallop on down. Um, I get a little bit sick of this, so I decided that I would just drop my contact the stride before and let her learn for herself because she was just completely ignoring me. So there I drop the contact and she knocks it out in front because I'm not there to hold her up anymore. Um, she just needs to learn to slow down herself and not, you know, run through me. Um, so she did that twice and then she learned her lesson and this time she jumped down her a lot better you know she stayed careful and she stayed slow the last stride so i left her at that as a reward and to show her that that was what i wanted Lovely. now i'm just finished riding diva um an improvement i would say i would say we improved from the start to the finish um moderately happy with the last jump she was you know she did actually back off and tried so i was quite happy with that she didn't just race down um, so with her, she's used to getting all of her momentum and scope from just pure speed. <laughs> so when I ask her to go nice and slowly, um, she sometimes finds it, she does always find it a lot more difficult. Um, so she just needs to like develop that strength to jump and be careful from a slower um, rhythm and a, sh and a closer stride. She could jump anything <laughs> from a fast pace and a long stride but when she gets in deep or when she comes in a little bit slower she just finds it a lot harder so that's why we're just teaching her that we're just teaching her to come in at a bit of a better pace a bit slower um one thing that we really need to work on but that will come in time is her staying soft in between the distances so at the moment when i take a pull she just completely fights me so what i'm going to do is just so what i need to do is i need to set down lots of distances um just of poles and canter her over them trot her over them canter them canter her over them keep her really soft as soon as she gets strong halt her ask her to soften um i did actually have to hold her one of the times in the distance um just because she was completely taking taking me for a ride <laughs> so i just said look diva like stop think about what you're doing now um and then the time after that she was actually a lot better so yeah, it's just gonna be a lot of pull work this week, I think, and getting her nice and soft because she's so nice and soft on the flat. It's just when jumping's involved and pull, she gets very excited. So that's just something to work on. Um, definitely we'll be flying in no time back to, back to how she was before her break. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm gonna just give her a walk off now and untuck her. Now, Diva is looking very soggy, but I'd say she feels quite refreshed after a bath. So I'm going to stick on her a nice light rug and back on the field with some feed. Some dinner, Diva. You, yeah, dinner. I got your attention. Go get your feed. <laughs> Wrong bucket. <laughs> She's so not like my horses. My horses would be on top of you to get some food and she's just like, plays hard to get. Then she'll always eat it all. She's a bit of a weird one. Oh, here she comes back. 
You're a bit weird, Diva. And now she'll eat it.